Welcome, welcome everyone. Good evening. Nice to see all the beautiful faces. There's Miss Amy Potis. Like to see some of the Po team on here. Everyone in one, everyone wanted to hear Joanne. So they asked, can we share it? I said, absolutely share it for everyone because um she's just phenomenal. So we can't wait to hear her. So I'm gonna turn it right over to you, Joanne, and then I can add some stuff at the end as needed. But um, we have EC1, Joanne Shira Parkin, registered dietitian, master nutritionist um, that's going to go over the new collagen and NERF2 study. So the study was done on collagen and NERF2 together because separately they do amazing things, but together they created their own synergy that nobody had any idea that they would create. So collagen was made for anti-aging. But when all of the testimonials and the results started coming in, I'm, I'm so grateful with this company and their insights. They decided to look into why are we having all these results? Something behind the scenes is happening, right? So if you take an egg, you take some flour, you put them together, you don't get much, add a couple more things, you get a beautiful cake, right? So things were happening and they wanted to understand why. And this study is a result of that. So Joanne, I'm turning it over to you. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Maria. Well, thank you for ha having me on again. And I am um, going to probably, I'll share some things. Um, I want to say, I think it'd be new information for many of you, because I don't know how many of you have actually, have you read this study? Um, and if you are like me, I mean, how many of you really got it the first time or maybe the second time? When you read this study, there's it's very complex study. I mean, there's a lot in here, all the different pathways and the genes, and oh my, it there was there's so much in here um, that with the first read, it's just hard to really um, decipher everything. So I've been reading it and studying it and looking at it, and I think what I'm going to do is focus tonight, um, and I have my my objectives here. What um, I'm hoping we can learn tonight in the next, what, 15 minutes? <laughs> I hope I can do this in 15 minutes. So let's see. You can uh, have the whole 30 minutes, Joanne. I can have the whole 30 minutes? Oh, yes, you can. wow. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm just in case there are some new people on tonight that have not are, are not familiar with the study, have, you know, are just new to learning this, I'm going to start with giving an overview of the study. And I'll also go and talk about the breakdown of all the genes and the pathways that get expressed um, individually and with the two products in combination. But my focus tonight will be on this, um, the beneficial effects of the healthy glow stack on the innate immune system. Yep, there's some really good stuff there. And um, just talking about some specific genes that help your cells to recover from cellular stress, and then a little about whole body benefits of the healthy glow sac. So we better get started. So this study was called a gene expression study by RNA sequencing. Now this study is, was unbiased. It's performed on human tissue and it's all fed into a computer and analyzed. So I've, you know, you may have heard some people say, well, hey, that's conducted study conducted by, by life vantage. Can you, can you really trust that study? Oh, yes, you can, because this is about as unbiased as you can get with a study. Um, so just to start out, maybe some definitions, because these are some things we're going to be talking about. Um, and there's no quiz at the end. So if you're, you know, quite get everything, that's okay. Um, you know, you're here, going to hear a lot about cellular stress response. In fact, if you listen to our VP of R&D, Lisa Barnes, she talks a lot about this, how these products help tremendously with our cellular stress response. And um, so, you know, anytime you have an environmental assault um, on your body that causes damage, uh, your cells combat that stress by activating a pathways. Very good example, right? We know about nerve two activation, right? The environmental assault, whatever it might be in the environment, free radical damage, right? That activates our bodies are responding and our cells are responding to that kind of stress by activating of that nerve two pathway. Well, there is other pathways that get activated in response to other kinds of cellular stress. So we're gonna go a little bit into that tonight. 
right, RNA, ribonucleic acid, that single strand um, that carries instructions from the DNA, the double helix strand where all of our genes are stored. So the RNA, it carries instructions from your genes and tells proteins what to do, right? Gives them instructions. Um, RNA sequencing is a computer analysis that shows which genes and what pathways are turned off and on. So that's what we mean by an RNA sequencing study. So you're gonna get more, you kind of understand this a little better as I go along. Now, I'm gonna be talking about our immune system tonight. What a great time to be talking about what you can do to support your immune system, right? Because we are in cold and flu season, right? Where we are more susceptible to all the different bugs that circulate and the pathogens. So um, we basically have a couple uh, components to our immune system. We have what's called the innate immune system. Uh, this is the system, immune system that you're born with. Um, kids have really robust immune systems. Now, um, it's called nonspecific because anytime with uh, an invader, a virus or a pathogen comes in, this is an immune system. First responders, they immediately go to work. Um, they don't have memory uh, and, that and it does decline with age. And so that's one thing keeping in mind. In innate immune system, which you're born with, that declines with age, but guess what? We've got something else. We have, something, we have something called the adaptive or the acquired immune system. Now, and that develops over years. And mainly you might've heard of B cells, they secrete antibodies, right? Um, and then T memory cells. Those are the ones that are so important in your acquired immune system so that when um, you have something like, I had chicken pox when I was a kid, right? So when that virus comes knocking again, my T memory cells go, oh, I didn't know what that is. And destroys them before I can become infected. But what you're gonna to learn tonight is that this uh, healthy glow stack and this study uh, showed that there are some really great benefits for your innate immune system. How important is that? It's because that generally declines with age and that's your first responder immune system. So wouldn't that be great to just to get that immune system up and running, you know, um, and um, balanced out as well. So this uh, gene expression study, our company chose fibroblasts. And the reason they chose fibroblasts, well, one reason for many reasons why they chose fibroblasts, but um, particularly one is that because fibroblasts are dispersed and found in so many tissues and organs throughout your body, um, you know, in your heart, your, your gut, your skin, um, all over your lungs, in fact, as well. And uh, fibroblasts are the most common cell type within your connective tissue. So there's a lot of collagen gets stored in your fibroblasts. And um, they also make up the uh, extracellular matrix of the skin, you know, like the springs in your mattress, right? Uh, support, provide support to your blood vessel walls, you know, keep them um, structured. How about heart muscle? It supports heartbeats as well these fibroblasts do. There's three layers of them in your heart muscle. And then what we're gonna talk about tonight is how the fibroblasts play a central role and how the body responds to stress and insults. So let's dive a little deeper into this gene expression study. Um, there's like what I call three arms of this study. Uh, first, fibroblast cells were exposed to just protandum nerve two only. Then the second arm was that the true science liquid collagen was a, the, the fibroblasts uh, were exposed to the true science liquid collagen. Then the third arm of the study was that both the combination of protandum nerve two and true science, uh, true science collagen were also tested in the fibroblasts as well. Then what they did was that they extracted the RNA from the fibroblast and they mapped them out and see these fibroblasts, remember these are, uh, they tell the DNA, you know, they give them instructions. And so that, that's all these cellular pathways and specific genes that get expressed. Now, this was the results of the study. This is really powerful. When you think about 13,708 genes were expressed, 
over 18,671 pathways. That's just mind boggling. Because I think in our whole uh, genome, all of our, you know, in the human genomic project established that we have 25,000 genes in our uh, genome. So you can see that this is, these products really had quite an impact on gene expression. And so let's go back and talk individual, let's talk a little bit individually about um, the cellular pathways that were expressed in both the, the per tandem individually, the liquid collagen individually, and then in that combo, the healthy glow stack. And so you'll see on the left-hand side of your screen, the number of cellular pathways that got expressed with just per tandem, 894. Collagen alone, wow, 1,006, right? And then when you put the two together, another 1,172 cellular pathways. And this is really uh, more data from this study just about, now this is about the genes that get expressed. We talked about all those pathways. There were 20% of the genes were up-regulated or down-regulated, both by the products individual and, and combination. Um, the combination influenced 2,439 genes. You can see that they looked at the genes that was total, but then there's these genes significantly up-regulated or down-regulated. So they actually had to kind of and weed through all of this data. It must have been an enormous project. Uh, for our staff at our company in R&D to have to wade through all of this and just select and pick out what are the most significant genes that were expressed? What are the most significant pathways that were expressed? And um, this just kind of drills down a little deeper um, on these pathways that were expressed, the ones that were the most significant. Uh, we know that with uh, with Pertanum Nerf 2, with this study, what it did validate, this study validated everything we already knew about Pertanum, those 30 studies on Pertanum. This study validated those previous 30 studies and just all this, the gene expression and the pathways that were expressed. Then with the collagen, the collagen, um, the genes that were expressed and the pathways had to do with collagen production, assembly, cross-linking, organization of the collagen. This is also what, was, what, what they expected. What was unexpected was the pathways that were expressed, um, and these were four pathways um, that had to do with the innate immune system and also with the cellular stress response. This was unexpected. That was something that was interesting that they thought, whoa, just alone, looks like the collagen has some benefits for these immune system pathways. Now, look what happened when they put the two together. Uh, there were more NERF2 pathways, or there was a, even a greater expression of the NERF2 NERF pathways, extremely significant. Then there were multiple immune system pathways. I counted eight. I think there may be more. Um, so in other words, the two together at least doubled and maybe probably more of uh, the benefits for your um, innate immune system. And then there were also these pathways of the certain cells within your immune system, uh, the cytokines and their interleukins pathways. And then there's also a switch also called NF kappa B that was affected and, and uh, pathways were expressed with NF kappa B. Okay, so cytokines, you may have heard of that before because those um, were some of the genes that were um, expressed, especially a part of this NF kappa B pathway. What are cytokines? Um, cytokines can manage and can have a lot to do with inflammation in your body. Uh, they're signaling proteins that control inflammation. Now there's good cytokines and there's bad cytokines. Now they allow your, it's the good cytokines so that when you have, when you get sick and your immune system amounts of defense, um, then your cytokines get expressed and that that's good. But what can happen is if you have too many cytokines and the wrong kinds of cytokines, that can lead to excess inflammation 
and even to conditions like autoimmune disease. I got that, that uh, definition from the Cleveland Clinic online. Now, when, when uh, COVID hit, you may have heard this, and that is that with the, the lung uh, pneumonia or the lung involvement, uh, they were calling that the cytokine storm. So well, it wasn't a typical pneumonia with COVID. It was this massive inflammatory response in the lungs, that's because too many cytokines got expressed and led to that, um, you know, that type of uh, inflammatory process in the lungs. Now, there is another, this study also showed uh, that there was another transcription factor that got activated. And you're going, oh, gee, this is, this is way too complicated for me. You know, you're thinking, oh, no, you know, cytokines, interleukins, but um, this is interesting. So, and um, I got to thinking about this. How do I explain NF kappa B? Okay, so nerve two, if you've been in the company a while, or even if you're new, um, you, you, we talk so much about NRF2 pathway. The, that, uh, that NRF2 protein is actually, it's called a transcription factor. Um, think of transcription factors are like when they get activated or turned on, um, they can get, it's like flipping a switch on your cell. Okay, so nerf to activation, it's literally flips the switch and the lights come on in your cells and your cells go to work to combat the oxidative stress, okay? Um, there are many of these transcription factors. NF-kappa B is one of them. And this is one of the, the transcription factors that this study showed was significantly impacted. So what is this transcription factor? Um, well, it activates and I mean, it, it regulates virus replication, formation of tumors, autoimmune diseases, inflammation. Those are the pr primary um, processes in your body that this transcription factor regulates. We know that nerf 2 what does nerf 2 regulate? Primarily oxidative stress, right? And to a certain extent also as well, inflammation. But what happens if this transcription factor is overactive, it can really damage your innate immune system and it can promote more of those inflammatory cytokines. So really what you're looking at is what you're gonna find and what the study showed, of course, that, you know, for tandem NRF2, you know, nerf pro tandem alone activates that NRF2 transcription factor or that pathway right, the good one, the really great pathway, what you're going to find, what we're finding was this combination of the NERF2 and the collagen. Yes, it even gives you more NERF2 activation, but it also turns off this switch. It turns off this switch. Well, that, look at what an overactive NF-kappa B switch can do. What does that do? Well, that was really what was very exciting about this study. And what this, this graph shows, and actually I believe this graph is on our, our, our Life Vantage website. Um, it shows these all these different genes that are a part of that NF-kappa -kappa B pathway that get expressed. And look at how these genes are turned off and down-regulated. These are all, look at these, I, I circled the, uh, po these powerful pro- inflammatory genes, very specific genes that they actually could map these out and find these specific genes. So we, I just throw, these are all those genes that get turned off with this combination of the, the tandem nerve two and the collagen. And it decreases the signaling that perpetuates the stress response. And this is really important by turning off this particular switch. Um, your cells, when they respond to an insult, you, um, they, they go to work, as you can tell, um, you know, it fights, you know, your, your body's going to fight off a virus or an insult, oxidative stress, but then those cells have to have time to recover because if they don't recover, they're going to be continually turned on. And in the world of cellular biology, that is not a good thing. You want your cells to be able to 
reco re recover, you know, do their job, recover, and then so that they're able to come back and do the job again. Um, so this was really interesting, uh, the effect of this collagen stack, the Healthy Goal stack on this NF-kappa B pathway. They found that uh, pertanum alone really didn't have much of an impact on the inflammatory cytokine genes that were in this pathway. The liquid collagen had a little bit of an effect, but the combination of the two products, downregulated those unwanted pro-inflammatory genes, and also unwanted cell modulators of the innate immune system. So these cells, the uh, genes that um, affect your innate immune system that can keep it in a constant state of stress. Because you want your immune system to go to work. You want it to relax, get armed and ready for the next insult. And so basically what this uh, healthy glow stack, what it showed is it had a uh, created a balanced immune system response, right? Not overactive. So the summary, um, in summary, the, the study, it validates and confirms the previous studies that we have on Proteanum Nerf 2 and the collagen individually, which was really excellent as well. And there were just a significant number of genes, 21% were significantly upgraded or downregulated. Um, and we found that the combination of the Nerf 2 and the collagen together, they have a synergistic benefit and they produced these unexpected results and that there's additional cellular pathways that are expressed and different additional genes that these products upregulate. They upregulate the good genes and they downregulate the bad genes. By the way, this is nutrigenomics. This is the nutrients, uh, the bioactive components, compounds the, that are in our products. They are responsible for this gene expression and they work together in synergy. And of course we found that what, this combination helps your cells respond to stress in a health, healthy balanced way and significantly down re regulates those unwanted pro-inflammatory cytokines, right? And modulates the innate immune system. And actually when you look at this and you look at what we know about her tandem Nerf 2, and all of the benefits of per tandem for your brain, uh, for your, for your uh, body as a whole, and lowering that oxidative stress, it helps with your healthy longevity. Um, then when you add the collagen, we know that the benefits of that product, but look at look at we're with the two together. I mean, this is a whole body, uh, whole body health, connective tissue, vascular joint tissues, gut brain, everything. So um, I think that what our company has done with this uh, study is um, fantastic for all of us that are uh, this time of year when you're going to be around a lot of people in close encounters. You can be so thankful that you know this and that you'll never stop taking your healthy glow stack.